Ricky O'Toole gets the ball. Bowman on a lead. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bowman on centre wing. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. He goes towards uh, Kloster. Has to sit and wait. McNamara against him. Furzlin handball to nobody. Power it was. Gets around a couple. Goes with a left foot kick. High towards Murphy. One out with Addy. Addy works him under the ball. Uh, numbers with Bell Post till they got back there. Addy did well. Goes with the outside of the rope. Great kick to McNamara. Who takes the mark at, at uh, defensive 50. Can chip the ball to Furslin. He elects to go to Lewis. Oh, Mawson though. Chops it off. Does well. Lewis got four against him, but he might be okay. Pizzano comes in. He gets rid of the football. Now Furslin. Furslin free to Pizzano. Got the kick away under pressure and power. And it's out of bounds. On the full. Oh, my God. I've seen everything. Oh, grubby. Ricky O'Toole's got the ball. Centre wing. <laughs> oh. I'm glad uh, Grubby it's didn't a, go to us. It's a tragedy yeah. waiting to happen in here. Ricky O'Toole from centre wing to half forward. Looking for Bowman. Goes up Bolton as well. Falls to the side of the pack. Little toe poke. Oh, through Kloster's arms. Can he keep it in? Oh, yes, he can. He's pushed off the football by Pisano. Now Lewis. Close to the boundary line. Happy to see it over. Pisano just telling Kloster all about it too. That he left the footy line. Fair bump too. Now, boundary throw in right in front of our commentary position. Half forward, East Geelong into attack. 6 4 40, 6 5 41. A point the difference, Bell Post Hill. Terrible boundary throw in. Falls in the arms of Pisano. Bolton got it away. Morland, the don't argue. Off uh, Cameron, does well. Left foot kick towards a vacant half forward. Who's going to be back there first? I think it might be Chamberlain. He tries to tap it back towards Robertson. If it sits, he's away. Good tag. Oh, he does well. Arches the back and goes with the right foot now. Great kick to Bolton. He can give it off to Mawson. He does off a standing start. Under pressure. Handball to Chalice. Getting, getting plenty of possessions on half forward, goes long to Murphy got a couple against him, Murphy goes oh, oh, and takes the mark beauty. and thought about playing on he's 45 out oh Eddie's pulled up sore too so Murphy who has kicked two goals this afternoon 35 Eddie. out, i tell you what he, could, he, could, he, could, pl he could play on too couldn't he because I don't think Eddie could chase no, him now he could not. so he's 40 out Close to the boundary line on the right side for a left footer. He comes in. He probably should have played on because he's missed it. He hasn't got the distance. Oh, great mark in the square by Bowman. And he'll shoot for a goal from five metres out. He's on the angle, though, so he's going to have to do the Stevie J. Kick around the corner. He's kicked one. This to give them the lead. He goes around, kicks the goal. <coughs> so Bowman kicks two. The lead for East Geelong, 7-4-46. They lead Bell Post Hill, 6-5-41. <coughs> DeGrandy Cycling Sport, third quarter scoreboard, six minutes played. I love to see the way Lucas Murphy, whenever a goal's kicked, and he runs back to the centre and grabs his teammates, and he's really pumped. Reminds me of the days of Murray Travers and Big Zombo Smith. They're still pumped, and they played in the Reserves Grand Final 12 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Murray Travers, here we go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So we're back in the middle, <laughs> about to uh, get underway, ball in the air, Ruckman go out, Symes the best of that one at ground level, Mawson nearly gets a uh, Bolton as well, kick out of the pack, foot goes forward for Bell Post Tool, picking it up there was Barton, he's tackled, coming through and... Uh, Basically, did does very well. The lead has come from uh, Holzfine. Unfortunately, doesn't oh. bounce for him. Popel up high, tapped it forward. Holzfine recovered. Now the tackle. Great work by uh, Popel down there. But uh, numbers are with uh, Bell Postels. Ends up in the arms of Moreland. Goes goalwards. The long kick. It is... Uh, oh, is it the mark oh, to yeah, tar? Mark free kick, whatever you like. And a great kick, too. So just outside the uh, goal square, Justin Tarr. Has uh, taken a mark, free kick, whatever you like, but he's 10 metres out, directly in front, and uh, it's goal for goal at the moment. If uh, he kicks this one, it's a great start to the third quarter in the uh, the championship quarter of the grand final. Tar moves in. Goal umpire doesn't move. So it's goal number three to uh, Justin Tar, and the lead goes back to Bell Post Hill, 7-5-47. East along 7-4-46, the Grandy Cycling Sports third quarter scoreboard, seven and a half minutes gone. Well, I think, Jay, she asked a question at, at halftime, who was the man to stand up? And we, I did say Shawnee Lewis, but if, the, if, you, if I hadn't got another chance at another one, Moreland would be the man. He actually didn't have a shot at goal that time. He put it right in the path <coughs> of big Justin Tarr, and they need him to lift as well, probably even more than Shawnee. If you remember rightly, I, I said him last week. You did. I, I did. You did. <laughs> Back to the middle. <coughs> Bolton up against Symes. <laughs> Crappy. Bolton gets it down. Chalice. O'Toole Dillon. 
Rides the bump, gives it away to Chalice. Open half forward. Now Ryan Coy leads Urquhart in the race for the ball. Has to sit and wait for it. Oh, he does well, but he needs some support. He gets it back towards Chalice. If it sits for him, he can pick it up at half forward. He does and kicks it across towards the 50. Martin leads. Bowman from behind. Oh, good little nudge. Good little nudge. <laughs> Josh Bowman. Martin's pleading with the umpire to say, I got pushed, but uh, he didn't see it. Neither did the trailing umpire. And Josh Bowman, who's kicked two, will have a shot for his third. So he's kicking from just inside 50, slight angle, southern end of the ground. They trail by a point, this to give them the lead again, the Eagles. Comes in, left foot kick. Oh, great kick, Beautiful. straight through the middle. So he gets going, Josh Bowman, three goals to him, and they reclaim the lead, the Eagles. 8-4, 52. <coughs> they lead Bell Post till 7-5, 47. Uh, sorry, DeGrandy, Cyclone Sport, third quarter scoreboard, nine minutes played. Well, they are very reliant on their two key forwards, I reckon, in, in East Geelong. I think you'll find that out of all the blokes playing at eight, I think Bowman and Murphy have got 130 goals. The rest of the side have got 130 goals. So they are very reliant, and they're doing the job from at the moment. So, great battle in this third quarter. Three goals to two. East Geelong's way at the moment. As we... Uh, We've got a blood rule? I think so. Firstland might be... Yeah, uh, his knee. <coughs> so, Firstland being uh, sent off with a blood rule. Umpires uh, not, uh, <coughs> not allowing the game to continue until uh, <coughs> that change has been made. It has. So, we're underway again. This time, tap down from Symes. Grandler. <coughs> that was uh, uh, Robertson was tackled high. I thought he got him a bit high. Umpire didn't see it our way as the ball comes uh, just to kick out of the middle. Limer for Bell Post Hill. Going backwards. Handball to Fletcher. He's forced uh, one way then the other. Fletcher back to Limer. Nice little chip pass. So still uh, <coughs> at least inside defensive 50. Chip pass to Fletcher. They're starting to chip from... A long way back, Bell Post Hill. Murphy on the mark. Mer uh, Robertson can't quite reach that. And the mark taken behind him by Baird. So the chipping continues for Bell Post Hill. <coughs> Baird now called to play on by the umpire. It's a longer kick. Name all over that. Oh, uh, Primke put the ground not in the contest. There's a high tackle power. Umpire did see that yeah. one. Jack Hill, the blind miner, would have saw that one. <laughs> Took a while for the whistle to come, though, didn't it? <laughs> so Tobin for Bell Post Hill. Just forward of centre wing. About to <coughs> kick the ball. Long kick inside forward 50. Oh, oh it's a great mark. mark. Middle of the pack by uh, Popovsky. Nick Popovsky. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's probably one of the underrated uh, Marks in this competition. He's not that tall, but uh, that was a great mark in between two defenders. Probably Jason, almost within range for Poposki. Yep. <coughs> I've seen him kick goals before, and he's moving in. Man and a marks at about 40. It's a good looking kick off the boot that's gone left and has stayed left. Are behind only to Nick Popovsky. Seven goals, six 48, Bell Post Hill. 8-4-52 East Geelong. The Grandy Cycling Sports third quarter scoreboard approaching 12 minutes. So Mawson with the kicking injuries on this occasion for East Geelong. Kicks to the outer side looking for Headley. Can't find him off hands. Out of bounds. 45 <coughs> around from the Bell Post Hill goal. Nolan coming off with a bit of a limp too for East Geelong. Bolton back on. It'll be interesting to see... Now he goes. It worked out well. They brought Bolton on as Symes came off. So Bolton back on. Boundary throw in. I think we'll have to do it all again. <coughs> Wasn't the greatest boundary throw in ever. A fair bit of right hand in that. A little bit, yes. <laughs> a little bit of left to right. Bit of Craig Parry. Better boundary throw in this time. Barton, big thump down. Holes fine. Won't be able to keep that in. Gains about 20 metres. About 25 around from the bell post. He'll go now. Kicking to the southern end. Uh, sorry, the northern end in this third term. 7 6 48 they are. East Geelong 8 4 52. Played 12, nearly 13 minutes in the third term. Punch away by Bolton. Tobin wrapped up. Loses the football in the contest. Oh, Robertson. Oh, nice. I'll tell you what, you're never going to have to ask the question about whether he puts his head over the ball. I'll tell you. He nearly gets it ripped off every time. He's as courageous as he's going on. He is. And he goes with a kick out towards Primke. who lets it sit and wait. 
He probably should have attacked it, and he might keep it in, does he? Well, then he drops the football, and it is over the line for a throw-in. Well, don't know whether he's 100% fit, Primkey. No, I, I'm with you there. I, I reckon he hasn't been attacking the footy. No. Ball's in the air going for a mark. He's fine. Yep. Ground, ground level, ground level. he's yep. in big trouble. No, Bolton. Barton gets it over. Rove, though. Oh, by Primkey. Uh, shuffled the handball back to Kloster. He has to go back and get the ball himself. He does. Robertson in under pressure. Gets it away to Harvey. At half back to half forward. Martin with the sit of it over the back. Punched away defensively. Does well to Lima. He uh, picks the ball up and goes wide. Looking for Tobin. Takes the mark. Uncontested. Between wing and half forward on the outer side. Just slows the play down, Shane Tobin. Plays on now. Wheels around on the left. Goes long towards uh, the leader, Tar. Oh, and the big fella stuck his hands up and went. There you go. And he will shoot for goal from 35 metres out. Slight angle. He's kicked three goals, one this afternoon. Missed to give the Panthers the lead again. He just bodied better out of that grubby, didn't he? It was very good use of the body. There's nothing, nothing illegal about it. He just, his bulk is bigger than Vetter's bulk, and he used it. And that's something that no one's been able to do, the Vetter. No, he hasn't started on the Yeah, that's true. He hasn't started on the sweets yet. No wonder he's a diabetic. <laughs> he's... <coughs> So, Tar comes in, right foot kick, missed. Bad miss, mm. bad miss. Three goals, two, his tally, 7-7-49, seven, seven, Bell Post Hill, East Geelong, 8-4-52. DeGrandy Cycling Sport, third quarter scoreboard, 14 and a half played. He could have had five, Grubby. The kick in comes quickly as it's gone to uh, Robertson, Mark's halfback flank. And these need to get a few players running forward. The, uh, they've not, uh, got nothing to kick to at the moment. He goes long towards centre wing, numbers back there with Bell Post Hill. Great Mark Van Teller. And chips it forward to half forward. There's a uh, player on his own. And uh, Pisano chips it wide this time. Looking for Morland in front. And that's a great mark. Great stretch. <coughs> Chris Morland, I would think he'd have a shot from there. He's uh, the man the marks at 40. A fairly uh, deep angle. But Chris Morland loves kicking goals. He would be some sort of a chance from here. They trail at the moment by three points. So, uh, goal here would give them back the lead. Chris Morland moving in. Positive approach. Just inside 50. It's a long kick. Has he got... No, he's uh, missed. That's his second behind. So, uh, seven goals, 8.50. Bell Post Hill, 8.452 east. The Grandy Cycle and Sports third quarter scoreboard, 16 minutes gone. So, Mawson kicking in duties again for the Eagles. Goes to the leader, Kloster. Takes the mark. Shuffles the ball out by hand to power. On the wrong side for left footer, but wheels around Fletcher. Now goes long towards Bowman, who got away from Martin at half forward. Took the mark. Handballed at the Ververs on the outside. He goes the left foot kick towards Murphy. One out against Addy. Murphy used the body beautifully. Falls into his arms. Tries the little toe poke around the corner, but Addy gets back there in uh, defence and goes long, but only to Brad Coy. Fersland bears down. Brad Coy should have taken oh, the mark. No talk around him. Fersland tells him all about it. Yeah, he's having a bit of a crack at him too. So boundary throw in. Right half forward flank. East Geelong into attack. Bolton. And Symes. Bolton uses the body. Gets it down to Robertson. That's a little toe poke out. Lima wrapped up. Loses the football. Urquhart under pressure from Power. Was that... Ah! Yes, said the umpire. So Urquhart will take it. That lets Fletcher off the hook a little bit. He made a terrible mistake letting Powell get back onto his left foot a couple of minutes ago. So Urquhart chips the ball to Lima backwards. It's just, just about inside the goal square. He chips the ball back to Pisano. Still got it inside defensive 50. Urquhart's got cramp. He chips the ball to Martin. Kloster goes up and takes the mark at half forward. For the Eagles, good play, Ryan Kloster. He was watching and for that. And now uh, Martin's injured as well. He goes long to Murphy, got two on him. Murphy goes up, can't take the mark, and then gives away the free kick to Addy. And advantage paid. Pisano gets the ball from Lima across the half-back. Going to Whitney, takes the mark. So just Martin's settles. a bit uh, yeah, sore too, a bit too, too. Baird came off with injury too, so there's a bit of a war of attrition he, he here. He hobbling Baird. Baird. He didn't look too good. So half-back, Whitney's got it for Bell Post Hill. Goes towards centre wing. Primke goes back. Coy punches away. Mawson was good on the side. Picks up the football. Goes towards Headley. Has to sit and wait for it. Whitney goes oh, up. You can't over the back. That. Tobin goes at it. He rides the bump. Gets the ball away for it by hand to Pisano. Goes back to whence it came. Popovsky should get a free kick. Didn't get one. He yes, did. he did for he did. Shepard against... Uh, Primkey, 
Oh, oh, he paid it to Primke. Yeah. Okay. Mawson got So O'Toole goes from centre wing to Bowman. Off hands at the back of the pack. Martin to run onto it. Gets Symes as a support. Then handballs it out to overall. Under pressure. Bowman. Close to the banjo line. Bowman shuffles it out for did a well then, throw in. He did, did well. well. He had a couple against him. And it will be a throw in. Right half forward, 8 4 52 east to long. Bell post till 7 8 50. Two points of difference, 18 and a half played. Hope young Baird's right. I was trying to tear that in between spring rolls. <laughs> So the ball now, punch forward by Cluster from the ball in. Chalice runs onto it, comes back on his left, hooks it over the head. Not 15 metres. Good work, Bolton, come in, punched it to the boundary. So it gives them a chance to uh, set up again from the ball in. So East, very keen to get a score in this 4A forward. Nearly 19 minutes in the quarter. And uh, they've got two points in front. Ball comes to Mawson, back of the pack. Off a step goes Goldwoods. It's going to be a score. It's only a behind. Off the boot of Jesse Morrison. 8 5 53. 7 8 50. Bell post still. The Grandy Cyclone Sport third quarter scoreboard. We've been going 19 minutes. The ball's come in still. Uh, second kick mark by Holes Fine. Still inside. Defensive 50. He chips it back. And uh, they're just retaining possession at the moment. Lima. Lima now. Chips it forward to Tobin. Tobin, Holzfein is also there. East just need to man up a little quicker. They've got overall on the boundary as uh, umpire whistles Tobin now to uh, continue. Addy on his own. Takes the mark. So they're, uh, they're stuck in defensive 50, Grubby, and they need a kick to get out, don't they? Yeah, well, they do, and they're not going to get one at the moment. East still going to let them do this little so thing. So Martin fumbled the mark on that occasion. Kick goes back to overall, still inside defensive 50. That's about uh, a dozen kicks now from the kick in. Has overall now. He's going to have to go outside 50. He chips it. The lead has come across the ground, and Pisano makes good ground. Takes the mark. Got Tobin in front of our broadcast position. Takes the mark. Coy came in very quickly. Now Tobin. Needs some movement. Called to go forward by the umpire. Good looking kick. Primke in front. Can't take the mark. Ground level. It's uh, Bell Park, Postal through Fursland to Holzfein. Holzfein handball to nobody. At uh, ground level. Headley for East. Ricky O'Toole comes in. Handball to Primke. Primke back to Headley. Oh, that's a uh, kick under pressure. Really, pressure wasn't there. And then the pressure in the contest. Three Bell Post Hill players spoil each other and force the ball over the band line. 21 minutes gone in the quarter. 8 5 East. Lead Bell Post Hill 7 8. Nolan back on the ground for East Geelong. Headley off. Boundary throwing. Bolton used the body, did he? Pushed no. it, said the umpire. <clears throat> Just gave uh, Symes a nudge. Take the free kick on centre wing. Just settling the play down, Symes. Goes along the line. Lead on from Moreland. Goes in that direction. Over the back of the pack. No mark taken. Spills to Barton. Got the kick away. Dangerous for East Geelong. Tobin's there. Underneath it. Handball came back towards Barton. Through the middle. The big fella kicked the goal. Did very nicely. Made a path for himself and kicked it. His first. And they take the lead again. 8-8-56. Eight, eight, <coughs> Bell post to East Geelong. 8-5-53. To Grandy Cyclone Sport. Third quarter scoreboard. 22 minutes played. Well, it's goal for goal at the moment. But that time it took a long, long time. They kicked a couple of points in between. And they don't allow other opposition sides to kick multiple goals in a row. And that trend's continue at the moment as Bell post are back in front. There was strong play by uh, the goal kicker there Barton. in Barton. He, he crashed through a couple of tackles. And just sheer strength got him through. Exactly, yeah. <coughs> The back in the middle, underway again. This time 50-50 the Ruckman, all coming in strongly from the wing. Uh, Bell Post Hill finally through uh, Whitney it was. Gets the ball to half forward. Primke leads in the race for the footy. Tobin happy to let him go. Decides to kick around the body, looking for, and uh, that's a good mark by Bolton the Ruckman. He's drifted towards the half-back line and uh, taken the mark. Hasn't got much to kick to. How long gone? 22 and a half. So the ball now from Bolton towards centre wing. In front, power stood his ground. Does well, gets the handball over to Chalice. Chalice now, handball, should have kicked it. He perhaps had nothing to kick to. Trying to develop something here as uh, Chalice comes back on the footy. Can't pick it up. Gee, it's uh, tough in there. Picked up by Cameron. He's tackled by three. Down they go in a heap. And in front of our broadcast position, the umpire will call for the ball. 
Wouldn't want to be under one of those tackles, Grubby. Ah. So, ball up in front of our broadcast position. Coming in uh, late was Bolton. The tap for, goes to Pisano for Belpost Hill. In front again. Good mark there by... Uh, he's doing all right at the moment, Barton. Takes the mark, centre wing. Decides to kick it along the, uh, the boundary at the back. Oh, Mark not uh, paid to East Geelong there as the ball flipped over the top to Sean Lewis gone out of the game a bit in this quarter comes to Tobin, he's got Baird free in the middle, kicks long towards the goal square, Baird is a long kick, a one on one contest and I think sheer body strength again has given Tar the mark in the goal square has uh, been a, 50. I think a uh, few words were said and uh, a few players are uh, going towards better if they're not, not careful, I'll give the free kick away. He's got the uh, man on the goal square. So I think there was a few words said after uh, Vetter was outpointed very badly on that. And Tar ambles in to kick goal number four. And he's the difference in the game at the moment. Nine goals, 8.62 Bell Post Hill. 8.5.53 East Geelong to Grandy Cycle and Sports Third Quarter scoreboard. 24 and a half minutes gone. Well, you're probably right, Eric. I, I just think that Vetter's been absolutely magnificent in this final series. And even up until half time today, he was holding his own. But Tars just got a little bit the better of him in these, this last quarter, this third quarter. And, and they've got no one else, Grubby, that can go back, I wouldn't think. No, well, Lachlan may have got the job, but he won't be coming back. So. Uh -huh. Uh, I think they'll just let leave Vetter on him and say, mate, you've got to improve. We've got no one else. It's your job. So back to the middle. They can put Primke on him. Primke's on Tobin. Look at the size of the difference there. Yeah, that's a point. <laughs> <coughs> so back and to the he, middle. I think he's quicker, Primke. <laughs> Bolton up against Symes. Pine throws the ball in the air. Both get a tap to it. Oh, Symes does his own roving work. Goes to half forward. Barton has had an influence in the last five. Gives it away to Holes. Fine. He goes towards the leader. Molander goes up. And takes the mark. Much Popel could do there. And he'll shoot for goal from 35 out, 45 degree angle. Pretty pretty hard when you're that tall, grubby, and you jump four foot off the ground. It's hard to get to the ball. Yeah, I, think, I think East Geelong will be really needing that siren because they are starting to look just a little bit tired. And 25 and a half played third term. Moreland hasn't kicked a goal yet. This to make the margin 15 points. Comes in, northern end of the ground, right foot kick, brings it back with the breeze beautifully. Oh, and he's put it through for his first. And the 10th for Bell Post Hill. They go to 10 8 68. They lead East Geelong 8 5 53. The Grandy Cycling Sport third quarter scoreboard, 26 minutes played. Well, we said it before about Lucas Murphy, and you really need class players to kick class goals for you, as he was doing earlier. And Moreland's come to the party for the Bell Post Hill Panthers that time. Well, he's, he's probably uh, Jason Menson. He was the one he mentioned last week as the best. But this quarter, he's really come to the fore, hasn't he? Well, he has, but he's not best on the ground. Oh, no, no, <laughs> I, I would concede that. <laughs> He'll never win it. In the middle, <laughs> Bol Bolton. Bolton has uh, got the ball down. As uh, East Geelong try to uh, change the uh, momentum here as the ball comes out wide to power by hand. Stops to try and pick it up. He's overrun, though. Good work there from uh, Basley round the body. That's a lovely kick to Tobin. Tobin there, half forward flank. He's had a few kicks in this quarter. Been quite uh, handy for them. As uh, Tobin there gets an inside 50. Long kick coming up. Uh, almost the mark taken. The ball flicked out. Mawson, uh, Mawson does well for East. Round the body, but he's under pressure. There's a whistle on play. Yeah, down the ground. He got and decked it's, uh, after it. Down the ground. <coughs> Probably against Holzfine, perhaps. Yep. So Mawson put to ground after the kick and uh, free kick down the ground to East Geelong. So it was uh, Dylan O'Toole took the kick, goes towards centre wing from behind Martin. Can't be paid to mark. He's claiming it. Gets a handball to Limer. Handball back to Fletcher. Now across to Symes. Symes just sitting on his own. Now decides to go wide. Back to Limer. So now I guess at the 27 and a half minute mark, Grubby, they can play keepings off. They've got the lead as uh, Lima goes midfield, finds Moreland. So Moreland there really slowing it down. Decides to go uh, sideways. He almost looked to be out of bound there, bounds, but uh, he's still in bounds. As it, uh, they come forward, it, it's uh, Tobin allowed to run free. 
Goes towards the uh, boundary line. It is out in the full. Out in the full, very close to the boundary line. It was said earlier, I think, Jason, it's surprising how close to the boundary line both sides are playing, isn't it? I reckon it's happened all final series. Mm. Well, that's probable, yeah. yeah through the middle. ones, the wind could be blown, but not today. So, uh, Chamberlain, long kick for East. Back towards the centre wing. Oh, up high, Ricky O'Toole can't take the mark. Ball comes to ground. McNamara takes it towards the boundary line. Going to say happy to see it over, but the handball comes inboard. Pisano over the top for Belpastel. It breaks down at half forward with Chamberlain taking the mark. 28 and a half minutes gone. 10 8, Belpost still, 8 5, East July. Bolton gets in the middle of the pack and takes the mark and shuffles it off to Cluster by hand. Maybe one last chance before three quarter time. Bowman. Oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> just, just swallow that before you comment. <laughs> Hold a group, couldn't help it. I couldn't help Hold a group. <laughs> so, Bowman's got it. He's kicked three goals, one. You know, shoot for goal, fifty out, directly in front. Fifteen, the difference at the moment is to I make it this, nine. Need, need this twenty-nine minutes. No, don't you? Yeah. I, I, I went there. I went there. I Eric turned to look. And I suddenly realised. Yeah. So Bowman, coming in, left foot, fifty out. Ooh, just hold back on the ball though. Hasn't made the distance. And off hands. Hit the behind post. Uh, hit the post. Goal post. So three for one behind. Eight six fifty four. <laughs> East Geelong. Goal post still ten eight sixty eight. The Granny Sullivan Sport third quarter scoreboard twenty nine and a half played. Short kick in has uh, come to Fletcher. He goes wider to Fursland. Bell post hill again uh, retaining possession. See, there's a lot of movement on the uh, the board, the whiteboard here for Belpost still just beside us. It's names going everywhere as the ball comes from uh, to oh great Mark Morland. He's really coming to his own this quarter. Kicks along the boundary and that's a lovely pass. He's found uh, teammate there in Popovsky, basically unattended, taking a long time. Now whistle to go by the umpire. The chip pass has. Uh, well, put Lewis under a bit of pressure, but he uh, does the right thing. Gets a handball back. Gets a handball further on. As uh, Belpost still... Well, they're mucking about with it at the moment. Lewis, they're pinned on the boundary. Baird finally has a kick. Goes towards uh, the full forward position. But uh, coming across, it is Cluster. Chips it inboard. Chalice. Chalice has Chamberlain going, but he hasn't got much ahead of him. Decides to chip it across the face of goal to Chamberlain. Chamberlain there with the mark. What's happened here? Oh, he wasn't on the mark. So now Chamberlain goes wide. Out there is uh, Chalice has broken away.